Okay. Uh, this has uh, been identified as InfoTrends as one of um, the largest challenges for implants is reducing costs and increasing efficiency. It's a differentiator from commercial printers. Uh, I'm going to have Amy start this time, though. Um, reducing costs and increasing in efficiency. Um, like I've, I've already said, we are, we're way lean in what we do. And um, just in reducing costs, we're continuously looking at the paper we use, uh, the companies we use. Um, in the end, we just went through a, we're in the process of redoing some of our contracts. So, you know, with that, we're looking at what do they, what do they have that can help us out? We're also getting ready to release an RFP in the spring which will do both of this, do the uh, working on our costs and our efficiency, and that's what we need to do. We need to have a floor plan in each of our shops that allows us to do work fast, efficient, barcode, um, but, you know, being, again, the company that we are, we have certain paper needs. They're not going to change their stock. We are we're cut sheet. So... Um, we have all these different things that are, are laid out in front of us. So we just, um, we're just, we're looking at our whole fleet and what we do so that we don't have to increase our staff or at least not by a lot. And um, we're probably going to need to look at how that affects our, our color, our custom group. Because um, being for color, we need to make sure that we are, um, just looking at all of our options right now and that's uh, I would say you know make sure that your our thing is you know we've is not to get stuck on one thing and so our RFP, RFP that we're going to turn out to people is here's what we have this is the work that we do you tell us how you would fix that for us you come up with the solution for us um, and so that's one of the things that we're really you know here's what we need to keep our costs at so that we're not getting all out of hand as well, but making sure that we're asking our vendors to help us be the best that we can be in our shops, both of our shops. Great, Mike. Okay, so yeah, this is a, this is a tough one. Um, <laughs> some of the things that we're, we're trying to do is, um, we do a bidders, bidders conference every summer. We'll take 10 jobs and we'll put them out. To, to bid with 10 local printers. And anybody that is responsible for outside buying knows that on a $3,000 job, you could have a price from $2,100 to $6,000. So how do I turn that into something that is graphic services and there's a benefit to using us? Is one, we're, we don't always buy by the cheapest price for outside jobs. Um, but in a, if we did not have centralized print buying and we do not have first right refu refusal but I don't want customers coming to me because they have to I want them coming to me because they want to and they want to use us and they want us engaged in their in their um, project but the outside world in the Philadelphia area um, people are, there are thriving printers there they are making money they are driving costs down they're putting pricing pressures back on us um, <laughs> To maintain our competitiveness, we do this bidders conference, and we go out there and we take bids, and then we compare them to prices on the inside, and what we would charge for that. Um, the the difficult factor there is taking into account that yeah, on a on a bid job where it's five day turnaround after the proof's approval, it's real easy commodity print. Okay, so we're we're we don't do a lot of commodity print. Um, so where it's just 50,000 brochures and you can get those priced out anywhere you want to go. It's, it's you know, we used to worry about that type of business. We don't worry too much about that um, because we, we can focus our efforts on other things uh, and, and actually bring more relevancy and, and by doing a lot of little small projects and helping a lot of people out. Now they still come to us for those big jobs. Um, Internal efficiency, we started an initiative uh, back in the spring where I took my 13 staff members and we broke into three groups. And I won't go into this too much detail, but the three groups over the summer, they each had a charge. One was marketing, one was internal workflow, and one team was implementation. And what we did was we took an inward look at, all, at our operations and, and marketing. What did we do in marketing? What weren't we doing in marketing? And we had some creative minds on that team. And then internally, the workflow team, these are people that do the work. Okay, and they come in every day. So we looked at how are we doing work internally? How are we writing up jobs? What are the quality control processes in place? What are the steps? What happens after a proof is approved? 
and we started to uncover some areas internally where we could they uncovered it i did not come to them and say we're not handling jobs correctly they actually figured it out on them with, on their own and and then the implementation team was to take those recommendations from the marketing team and the internal workflow team and, and start to implement some of those strategies which we started to see some cost reductions now we're able to by taking in more work more profitable work the commodity print we sell copies through web to print at two cents i mean you can get two cent copies through my web to print. I look at that like the 99 cent menu at Wendy's, right? Take those all day long. You know, they come in, they're automated. Nobody touches it except the delivery driver. Okay, I, I got that. We used to worry about that work. We, I really don't worry about that two cent copy work. We're looking at the bigger jobs, the more teethier jobs, stuff you can get your hands into, stuff that people can't get outside. And then um, hopefully offer a competitive price on that. But short of that, um, if we're covering costs, then we're, we're looking good. Um, well, we are also very lean being a two-person department. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so what we're looking at is um, uh, becoming more automated so we don't have to hire a third person. Uh, so we've gone, uh, been trying for years to get web to print software and to become more automated in that way. And after a poorly done attempt by my boss and some of the IT department of making up their own web to print system, <laughs> they uh, finally ventured into supporting what I was trying to get them to do for quite a while. So now instead of having uh, customers call because orders have been lost coming in our office or they tried to fax them and they think it went through, they faxed it to the wrong number, we get all of our orders the way we should get them and automatically they get a butt back email saying that it's been received. Um, but we're also looking at some new equipment that's going to take steps out of our process and make things more hand free. So, um, but when we also look at things like centralizing products, um, things like privacy brochures that go to every department, every one of our doctor's offices on the outside. Uh, registration offices for all the hospitals um, so the privacy brochures we run those in an extra large orders and we put them on the shelf in the warehouse for the couriers to pull as they're ordered by each office so instead of being nickel and dime to death and wasting extra time on little bitty orders we run it as a big order and produce them so we've got lots of products that we've done that with um, so small steps like that just trying to make things more hands-free and, and be more efficient in how we do it. So uh, my example is going to be just specifically on the job itself. You know, um, how do I reduce costs and increase efficiencies? And I'm, we're doing 1.5, right? So how can I get to one? So you always have different members in the shop, operators, who know more than the people out front, always the ones that they seem to always be asking a lot of questions, and they're not spending a lot of time doing what you need them to do is focus on the job and get the work out the door. So about a year ago, that was happening a lot. Uh, the people that you would, you would reach out to us to put a job in, there was a lot of questions. And my goal was just to make them, the people that you interact with first, the ones that know everything about who our paper vendors are, what supplies can take. Basically, well, I just sort of want this thing my jog, and I want it folded in this and that, and oh, yeah, I want it printer on this really thick stock. I want them to be the ones that are going to be able to be the people up front that can deliver the message, that can honestly describe everything we do, and leave the guys in the back alone to do what they need to do. So I actually, you would think that some of the people that you're looking to do would be the operators in their back, but they're not always the people that you want to put in front of them. You know, they're not very good at communicating, and no offense to them, but they're doing what they're supposed to do. So not always your best person is the person that you should be sticking up front. And honestly, it took a little over a year, but I honestly have three people now that have done such a fabulous job with building relationships with our customers, analyzing what they're doing, that I was actually able to do what I've always wanted to do and cross-train everybody in the back. 
So every operator, it isn't, this is my machine, and I'm only going to run this machine. Every operator is in a rotation, and they're on every piece of equipment. It from The offset stuff is a little hard, but the offset guys are running wide format. We're putting them on our digital machines. There's some people who are still a little nervous about offset, but we're working that area. But offset's not as busy as, as the digital stuff in wide format is. So we have monthly rotations where operators are actually switching positions from bindery you know, to wide format, and that has helped me a lot in getting a lot of strategic ideas from them on how we can improve our process behind the wall, and then having the correct people who communicate correctly to our, to our uh, customers like marketing, they then, marketing tells us, wow, this is really great, why didn't you do these five, six years ago? So then we can do a lot of focus and spend time on that. That has helped us a lot, and I'm hoping that within you know, we're, we still have, I hope to have another position available we can get eventually a four set team because when you have, the London team, we're working on that right now, um, but if you, if you were able to have that complete cross communication around the world, I won't have 60, 80 emails in the morning when I come in from Hong Kong asking me all these different questions. So the goal is to eventually have one in every position. But here in the States, we've seen the success. We're trying to expand that across the globe right now. Great, Alicia. Can I comment on something else about yeah. the um, cost, reducing costs? You were talking about the web to print and how you're looking at doing some of that. Our web to print, since we have initiated that, has, we are saving, we actually are saving hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's not an exaggeration, a year. Because before when we were printing, being an insurance company, you know, we were printing um, policy packets out ahead of time. So you have states that have certain requirements, et cetera. We had so much stuff in our inventory, and you, can, you cannot believe the size of warehouse that we have. Um, and we have, when we started the web to print, what it's done for us is when they have a new, some kind of regulation that comes out, we are ever able to change that PDF online in a heartbeat. And so then when they start to reorder them, they're all up to date. We no longer have to carry inventory. We carry some of our four color, um, just our folders that we stuff them with and mail out to our, our agents. Um, we carry stuff like that, but we no longer have to carry all that print in our warehouse. So that truly has been a complete turnaround in costs for us. So just to throw that out there, that's, that was a big move for us and has been a big money saver.